Hey guys, what is up? <clears throat> I know I haven't done a video in a while, it's because I've been sick in my background. I'm sorry, that is my girlfriend. I did not mean to do that. Crap. Okay, guys, so hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it until I get a, um, until I actually start the video. Okay, we are back, and, um, this is a game that I grew up playing. It says Metroid 4, but this is the Metroid Fusion, which came out on the Game Boy in 2004, 2002. This was my first shooting game. A lot of people say, oh, Call of Duty was my first shooting game and all that. No, this was mine. Okay, as you can see, oh, okay, it... That, um, irritating, okay. Um, I haven't actually played. Uh, I've played a lot of it, actually, but, uh, let me erase data. And this is played on an emulator. Um, if I press back on my tablet, it does that, okay. Um, sorry about my, my background, that's my baby girl, sorry. Um, that's my girlfriend. Um, yeah, as you can see, all of these I will eventually get to, except for Mario, because uh, that doesn't want to play. Um, but I do plan on playing A Link to the Past and Zero Mission and all that. But uh, yeah, let's get back to Fusion. Now, this, these videos are going to be longer just so I can save time on actually doing videos. Um, just note, if I mess up a lot, it's because I'm so used to the Game Boy controls, I'm not used to the tablet because the are the right and the a button are so close together and to use missile missiles i need to use do right and b so, yeah. sorry if it's real laggy um with it being an emulator the game lags every now and then with the little random lag spikes because it's so so much is going on i'd been assigned to watch over biologics research team so once again, found myself on the surface of SR388. I recommend playing this game for yourself too. Go on the App Store, see if you can find a Game Boy emulator, and download this game, because this game is amazing. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. The story, the story is really good if you actually pay attention to it. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we know as X. <clears throat> Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Seizure warning, no. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to say seizure warning, I mean, uh, kinda-ish. Once the X had infected my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. I really recommend getting this game, guys. This game is freaking amazing. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologics vessel recovered it and transported me to the Galactic Federation HQ. Yeah, there's a lot of dialogue here. There's uh, no actual uh, words, like no, nothing is ever said. So yeah. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had been surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded 
to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Okay, so this is where some really cool stuff happens. Then someone found a cure. Those of you that have played the Metroid series already know what this is. And already know how freaking annoying these things are. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The, the X parasites were immediately and completely eradicated. Destroyed, okay, same thing. Different words meaning same thing. Yeah, using MobyZen, it's gonna slow down my tablet a little more, especially playing an older game. Um, if it looks good enough, I'll I'll still record. I plan on recording it and posting it either regardless. But uh, yeah. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived. Reborn as something different. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatching my life twice over. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for the docking. For docking, okay. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biological Space Labs, or BSL research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rock explosion rocked the station for some reason. This awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I'm being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer, following the commands of this blunt computerized CO. CO, CO is something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I've found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CO. Okay, so this game is about three... I'm three years older than this. This game came out when I was like three or four. And I played it when I was like six. And I beat the hell out of this game. Sorry for the little lag issues. No, you want to see lag. No, this is lag doing this. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388 as well as parts of your suit affected by the X parasites. The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way, uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now go to the quarantine bay. Yeah, see? Okay, it's not as bad. It's... It's slow, but, you know... Uh, this is still a really good game. Oh, crap. Now, that's all this is for a while. There's not going to be any combat for for some time now. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sorry. Every now and then, this emulator likes to mess up. Uh, I'm just going to go exploring up here, because Metroid has a lot of secrets. Actually, I don't, I don't even have ball form yet. Mostly everything in this game has to be required by killing a boss. There are quite a few bosses. <laughs> I can just tell you that much now. <laughs> there are a lot of bosses.
The quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. Okay, I'm trying to remember if this is where I see them. There are, and now... In my opinion, this is the greatest thing to ever happen to, to Nintendo. N normal, most other game... Uh, I don't know how the sound quality is, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. But, um... Yeah. Most games that uh, companies do... If they're shooting, they have like a whole ton of shooting series, like a series of shooting games. Nintendo only has one, and that would be Metroid. Okay, now you might be... Okay, it's going to explain... It's going to explain that here in a minute once I get to... Okay, and then I have to go all the way back to that navigation room. Now, each this first video is going to be about 20 minutes, simply because the the first few like the first few minutes was like like the first 10 to five to 10 minutes, five to seven minutes or something like that were was nothing but dialogue, and I'm just going to take this video up to 10, 20 minutes. So yeah, <clears throat> this is. Unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invaded and rapidly produced, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine worked so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasite without a host by merely touching it. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. This station is home to many species, I almost said specimens, some violent ones. This must keep the X out of the breeding. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I'm already detecting massive bio signs in this region. That's where my first boss is I want to say that's where my first boss is I'm not too sure this may be our chance to exterminate them but you are only at 10% battle capacity your chance of survival is extremely low the Federation needs you alive and on duty Samus this is your objective clear yes now get going I have released the lock on level zero hatches well, thank you. Okay, look before, look for the blinking hatches. So I'm at 13 minutes. Well, I could always just swipe this down and. Okay, never mind then. No, I can't. Now, this lag might be a little bit of a problem, but there are some moments where this game can run as smooth as can be. Now, this game, I, I don't know whether to, uh... Okay, so something I can do is I can save at any given time. And now all of these are boss fights, except for four. Four is the only non-boss fight, so I'm going to go ahead and save over zero. Okay, mobile strike, yay. Go take Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, we're going to go up to 20 minutes, or at least until a good uh, until I find a good spot to stop at. Okay, so that thing I have to kill with missiles. Okay, yeah, this is a zombie. 
a really, really powerful zombie. Wait, do I have charge? Oh yeah, I don't even have my charge beam yet. I have a long beam, so I'm good. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you will be able to use missiles. I say missiles, missiles, or missiles every now and then. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Is your objective clear? With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. I feel so reassured right now. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, like I said, I don't know how well the sound quality is. I'm going to watch this first before I upload it. Or I'll watch at least half of it. And see if it... Oh, wait, there was a secret down there. We'll just speed this up a little bit. That computer reminds me of a gruff Federation CEO I served under named Adam Malkovich. He called me lady on missions from anyone else. It would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified, out of respect, and with some irony. I named the computer after him. Okay, so if you don't know who Adam is, um, if you've played Metroid The Other M, that's actually Samus's origins. The Metroid Origins is from, well, if you've played the other M or if you've seen people play Metroid the other M for this, exclusively for the Wii, um, then you know what who that is. I think we'll get the missiles and we'll actually leave it off there. I'm going to recharge, even though I don't need it, but I'll still do it. It's a force of habit. <laughs> Every time I see a recharge room, I always, you know, take it. Or actually, no, I'll I'll get everything and, and then I'll save it. So, now whenever I, I could be in the middle of playing another file and whenever I want to come back to this one, I just, you see, um, up in the top left, it says load. All I gotta do is tap on that and then I load up file zero and yeah. I'm just gonna see what the computer has to say. The data room is just ahead. Okay, so that's all I has to say. Yeah, I'll get the missiles, and yeah, that's it. I'll get the missiles, and then that'll be the end of part one. Okay, so see, this is where the controls get confusing. I wish I could move these around. It would make this game so much freaking easier. I actually want to know if I can mess with the emulator settings and just... I actually want to see if I can do that. I'll have to see if I can do that between episodes. So, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe we might have to go a little over 20. Maybe we might have to do 20 minutes. <laughs> I forgot this happened. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. Okay, nice way to do that. This way, this may be related to the X. I'll work on it as for you. Try to find another way to the target. It's located here. I might just wait and go to the next save room because that's going to be the most convenient and then we'll fight the boss in the next episode. This boss is moderately easy if you've played on the um, Game Boy. Oh, I'm just skipping everything. I'm so sorry. That's, I'm sorry. It's a habit. Okay, that was it was basically just telling us how the power is out and how we can't really use doors. Okay, yeah, we can use doors. Okay, never mind. So... We'll save it here, we'll recharge again, just for the sake of it. So we'll, we'll recharge. Okay, if the power's out, then how is any of this still working? That's... Something I don't quite understand. I think people are going to sleep, so I might want to keep it down a little bit. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first little video. If you did, hit that like button and that subscribe button for more content. And I will see you in the next video. See ya!